So Head Start, Cocopa Head Start is getting a new garden. And you can see right behind us, that's the first phase of this, which was grading it. And Louise, you've been overseeing this project and there's, there's five phases in total for this project. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, first phase, uh, phase is gonna be like setting up the beds, which you can see here. Uh, we're excited about this because it's the uh, first time we see like a this big of a garden bed. We used to have, we still have one like over there. We can see it like, in pictures, which is kind of small. So just seeing like these big beds, we're kind of excited to getting everything started, like all those phases. Like I said, this is the first one. Um, we're gonna be giving you a, a schedule because we're gonna have activities for parents and for Head Start kids. So as we're uh, getting into the phases, we're gonna be letting you guys know okay. the dates for them. And this was a result of a grant that you and Jen Olspa, our EPO director, got and it's from the Head Start National and also Miracle Grow, correct? Correct. Okay, tell us about that. Um, it came through an email um, and I was sitting there one day and I was like, wow, that looks really interesting. And I emailed Jen and Luis and was like, do you think we could pull this off in the uh, short period of time? Because I hadn't noticed any earlier emails. Sure. Um, and we did it. We, Luis and Jen did a great job um, doing the plants and the environment and I put in the teaching of the children and what was going to be learned from this um, and how it was going to overall affect the Cocopa community. And Ruby, my understanding is you got two children yeah, are in Head Start right now. You also sit on the Parent Policy Committee. Yes. And what do you think of this garden? What do you think it's going to be like for your kids? Well, I'm actually excited to see it finish. Like the fact that we get to watch them, you know, almost like every day come and work on it. And then for the children to see why people are here in the playground messing with the dirt and stuff. And for them to actually plant something, like mm -hmm. that'd be great. And to be consistent. Cause I've gotten like flowers and stuff, but I am not consistent. <laughs> so. You're still trying to get a green thumb greener. Is that what yeah. you're telling me? Okay. Yeah. Well, don't try this with me because I got the black death. <laughs> I do black too. Black thumb of death. I even, you know, my artificial plants, I overfed them. I know. Yeah. I have. I have killed a ficus, a plastic <laughs> one. Now that takes some talent. Hey, tell, tell us about what specific plants. My understanding is they're native plants. That yeah, are be yes. There. I mean, we're planting like tomatoes because we noticed that kids love tomatoes. They love carrots. We planted some and we're just getting it like, from the ground and eating them. Yeah. So Dirt we're going to be planting all. those vegetables. <laughs> it was great. And, uh, Talking about culture, we're gonna um, bring back some seeds that Cocopa used to grow okay. along the Colorado River. One of them, it's a uh, panic grass, which for some time I was thought it was extinct, but unfortunately we got some seeds back from uh, native seeds. So we're gonna be planting some of those to make some food out of it. So, so we're gonna be planting the panic grass and uh, Cocopa bean, which was uh, grown on the delta, but Cocopa on the delta with Colorado River made the seed Excellent. on some time. So. We're bringing that back here to the reservation and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do podcasts about this project every step of the way. So this is the first of five podcasts that we're gonna do talking about each different stage and all the way up to the ribbon cutting. The ribbon cutting. When that's gonna happen, oh. when is that gonna be done, do you think? I think we can probably pull it off by the beginning of school year next year. Yes. Okay. So August. And our local NPR affiliate, KWC is planning to do a story about this nice. pretty well soon when we get closer to the point where we're going to be actually planting these different seeds. Yes. So. That would be amazing. Okay. Sounds great. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.